Hello there. The artwork we will be reviewing is the altar of Zeus. First, we will be going over form. There is form with movement in the artwork. The movement is seen through the fabric and the movement of the people can be visualized. There is also repetition and balance in the columns. There is a circular flow between some of the figures. Your eye slowly follows in a circular path through the figures. As for the content of the piece, it depicts the raging war between the Titans and the Grecian gods in the altar, Greek gods and goddesses such as Aphrodite, Zeus, Eros, Hera, and Ares. Mythical animals are also depicted like the satyr. Finally, the context. This artwork includes a large frieze that wraps around the bottom of the temple. A frieze is a broad horizontal band of sculptured or painted decoration on a wall or near the ceiling. There are several complex shapes. Athena is grabbing Alcyonus's hair while his mom can't do anything. At the same time, Athena is being crowned. This is a very dramatic battle scene. The scene is between the Grecian gods and goddesses and the giants or gigantes. In other words, a gigantimachy, a struggle between gods and giants. The giants are the sons of Gaia and Uranus. The gods are clearly in control and will obviously win. We will now be discussing and comparing and contrasting the Temple of Minerva and the Altar of Zeus. The Temple of Minerva, made 510 through 500 BCE, has many similarities and differences to the Great Altar of Zeus. Some similarities include the columns and the balance within the pieces using the columns. Both have several finials, which are also symmetric. They are actually similar styles, too. The Great Altar of Zeus and Athena is a mix of Grecian and Roman cultures. The Temple of Minerva is Etruscan, which influenced the Romans. They include the same goddess, Athena and Minerva, just from different cultures. The Temple of Minerva and the Altar of Zeus are also very different from each other. For example, the Altar of Zeus shows a battle scene. While the Temple of Minerva does not, there is also a larger staircase in the Altar of Zeus. The Temple of Minerva also has more color than the Temple of Zeus. The Altar of Zeus is a great example of Hellenistic Greek sculpture. Um, the huge statues of gods and goddesses and giants on the altar are carved in such high relief that they are almost detached from the background. The sculptures on the altar, on the altar depict all of the Grecian gods, goddesses, and a raging battle with the, with the giants, the latter losing. The Great Temple of Zeus and Athena is very dramatic. The way the clothes are sculpted, it looks like they are moving. They are moving in a kind of dramatic way, but it also expresses the pain they felt during this battle, which shows just how much power the Greek gods, goddesses, and giants have. Thank you for watching our presentation on the Great Altar of Zeus. The end.